proxy, fate has plucked you from the flotsam of chaos for this specific moment. The tides of fate swirl around you with glorious fury, proxy. The future of at least two worlds hangs in the balance. You have a talent for changing destiny. It has been noticed. Hence, I bring you an offer from the one who knows. The Prince of Fate, the Guardian of the Unseen, the Lord of Secrets. Perhaps you know him as Hermaeus Mora, the Daedric Prince of Knowledge and Memory. He has seen many paths forward, but only one where both Nern and Apocrypha survive. I want you to help preserve the realm of Apocrypha, to keep the reality of Nern from unraveling. At this particular moment, in this specific instance, the fates of both realms are inextricably linked. Will you do as the Prince asks and assist me? First, you must acquire the Emerald Glyphic. It resides in a vault you can access from three locations. I shall open a portal to each and let fate guide your path. Once there, this book will reveal the vault and this talisman will return you to me. Glyphics are creations of Hermaeus Mora. Each one contains knowledge or a memory. With the proper coaxing, they can be urged to transform into a tangible version of the concept within. You need the contents of three glyphics to assist Hermaeus Mora. Three glyphics contain the concepts that, once released, shall solidify your association with Hermaeus Mora for the length of this crisis. I have already acquired two of the glyphics. You shall obtain the third. Are you not acquainted with the concept of the Daedric Princes? The most vast and powerful of all the Daedra and the rulers of the realms of Oblivion? Hermaeus Mora is the Prince of Fate and the Master of Apocrypha. He sees and knows everything. The Tome is one of Hermaeus Mora's books of forbidden secrets. He provided it to lead you to the vault that houses the Emerald Glyphic. Read the book after you step through one of the portals, and it shall guide you to the hidden location. A curious fetish, is it not? Legend has it that this petrified, rune-covered tentacle was a gift given to a priest of the One Who Knows, sliced from his own body. Acquire the Glyphic, then use the talisman. It will open a portal to return you to me. No one of consequence, just a simple scholar who made a bargain with a prince more than a century ago. In exchange for glimpses of forbidden knowledge, I occasionally undertake missions for Hermaeus Mora. Now hurry, forces gather while you tarry. Portals, fascinating fissures in space. They open to other places, other times, even other realms. Uh, uh, what was the question? Oh, which portal? Whichever appeals, Proxy. They lead to the Horval Pit, Rootwater Grove, and the Ondil outskirts. Horval Pit is a cave in central Malabal Tor, teeming with Horvors. Many adventurers have fallen to these blood-sucking creatures. An entrance to the vault waits somewhere in its depths. Rootwater Grove is a bog in Western Greenshade that conceals a library of secret knowledge. A cult that calls itself the Wooded Eye maintains the site. One of the entrances to the Glyphic Vault can be found there. Ondil is an ancient Old Mary ruin in central Oridon. Plague-infested peasants patrol the outskirts surrounding the ruin. Be wary if you decide to use the vault entrance located there. Excellent proxy. Hermaeus Mora chose well when he selected you for this delicate and important task. Now go. The fates of multitudes both in this world and beyond hang in the balance. Once you select a portal, the others shall close. Let fate lead you, proxy.
will be ours, cultist scum. All knowing I'll be the best of Come on, let's do this together. learned with Magister Erin.
Fate's chosen. Good. I thought I'd have to fend off another assault on the Glyphic. The Great Eye sent us visions, told us to protect the Emerald Glyphic until his chosen agent arrived to claim it. But our order doesn't have many warriors. These vampires overwhelmed my fellow believers before we could marshal a proper defense. We receive many visions from the Great Eye. It's how he makes his will known to the faithful. I am Dralis, a devotee of the Sodality of the Eye. We were told to protect the Glyphic until you arrived to claim it. I also acquired this letter. I have no idea. I took it from one of the vampires, but it's written in some sort of code. You're working with Laramil the Wise, aren't you? One of the Great Eye's favored mortals, despite her lack of faith. She might be able to decipher it. A protective shield placed by a powerful priest of the Sodality. It has stymied the vampire mercenary so far. As only fates chosen may pass through it and take the Glyphic, I suggest you do so with all due haste, friend. Hurry, friend. You can't assist the Great Eye without the Emerald Glyphic. Take it and depart before more of these mercenaries arrive. Just be cautious of Laramil. Her thirst for knowledge doesn't preclude her from being the threat foreseen. It's a suspicion, nothing more. The sodality of the Eye recently learned that some who profess to have the Great Eye's best interests at heart are actually working to undermine Apocrypha. Is Laramil among them? I can't prove that. Not yet. The Dusk Sabers are mercenaries from the Telvanni Peninsula. Someone hired them to reach the Emerald Glyphic and acquire it before Fate's Chosen could do the same. I don't know who they work for, but the letter I gave you may hold the answer. The Sodality of the Eye is a small fellowship devoted to the Great Eye, who you call Hermaeus Mora. He directed us to guard this vault until you arrived. And we have fulfilled our mandate, despite the deaths of so many of the devoted. May the Great Eye keep you in his sight, Chosen. If I learn more of this threat, I'll contact you. Here, take this. It's not much, but I wanted you to have something special from me. The currents of fate ebb and flow, once again carrying you to the required shore. I observed the effluvium of possibility and noticed a proliferation of sudden potential. I assume that indicates you were successful? Did you have any trouble acquiring the Emerald Glyphic? Enemy forces move against the one who knows, just as he anticipated. I mourn for the deaths of Hermaeus Mora's faithful, but grief must not slow our progress. Still, I wish we knew more about this enemy. Dralis. Yes, I believe our paths have crossed before. Hmm. This document is written in an obscure code. I shall endeavor to decipher it while you find the Shrine of the Golden Eye. That is where we must bring the Glyphic and its counterparts. Yes, the one you carry and the two in my possession. We can use them at the Shrine to formalize your arrangement with Hermaeus Mora. Unfortunately, I am not one of the faithful. Only his followers know the locations. Let me mark your map. Two of the faithful I am acquainted with reside in these places. Talk to Mildenor and Basian. They should be pleased to provide Fate's Chosen with the location of the shrine. I shall meet you at each 
to make introductions. I am a seeker of knowledge, a chaser of wisdom, and a delver of secrets. Long ago I made a bargain with the Prince of Fate. In exchange for glimpses into Apocrypha's forbidden tomes, I undertake missions such as this from time to time. I leave the supplication and exaltation of the one who knows to Drollis, Bayesian, and their ilk. My association with Mora is strictly professional. Now, come, Proxy. Time is a precious commodity when the fate of two realms hangs in the balance. Mildenor keeps a room in this cellar, Proxy. Mildenor. Look around, Proxy. We must ascertain what transpired here. Runes of destruction. Powerful magic that overcame Mildenor's wards of protection. He must have snatched that from whoever attacked him before he died. Mildenor set wards to protect this chamber, but their energy was burned away by those runes. Only a powerful devotee of the One Who Knows could utilize such magic. A follower of Hermaeus Mora killed Mildenor. Perhaps even someone he knew. No, the one who knows rarely gets that involved in determining the course of fate. This was the work of a traitor. One who claims devotion to Hermaeus Mora, but works to advance the threat we have been tasked to stop. Hermaeus Mora told me that adversaries were gathering against him. I wondered why he never told me who they were. Perhaps he doesn't know. But how is that possible? The one who knows, knows everything. As for the Glyphics, we will keep them safe. We must reach Basian before this betrayer gets to him. Learn the location of the Shrine of the Golden Eye. The best way to keep the Glyphics safe is to get to the Shrine and use them as Hermaeus Mora instructed. Hopefully Basian can tell us how to reach the Shrine of the Golden Eye. I shall meet you at his location. I just hope we get there before the traitor silences him as well. These are the situations that make us flinch at every shadow, Proxy. If Drollis also suspects a traitor, that means we follow the same trail. His only mistake is assuming it was me. I seek to assist you and save two worlds, Nothing more. Yeah. 
This one has heard of your bravery. You drove the Colovians from Arenthia. This way, right Proxy. Greetings, Basin. This is Fate's Chosen. The one the Golden Eye foretold? Uh, you honor me, Laramil. Fate's Chosen. The Golden Eye so rarely elevates a mortal. But I can see that you aren't just another of Nern's common rabble. How can I assist you, Chosen? Just... Keep your voice down. Followers aren't appreciated in these lands. If only I could, Chosen. Our master demands the utmost secrecy, and we must be careful around non-believers. Many would injure me, or worse, if they suspected I consorted with Daedra. Whenever I go to worship, I am blindfolded and led there by others. Nara Heda always takes me to the shrine. I'll mark her camp on your map. May the Golden Eye lead you to the knowledge you seek, Chosen. Go, Proxy. I want to get Basian's opinion on the encoded letter you brought me. As I said, you honor me, Laramiel. But why bring the Chosen here? That was dangerous for all of us. <sighs> Desperate Can't circumstances demand risks, Basian. I just... Just as fickle as people, but just as beautiful too. Yeah. Appears we both arrived too late, friend. As soon as I learned of more threats against the faithful, I came as quickly as I could. Unfortunately, I arrived too late to save Naraheda. I'm glad you're here, though. I wanted to tell you what I uncovered concerning the traitor, Laramil. I'm not at liberty to divulge the secrets of my order, but I can tell you that Laramil plans to use the Glyphics to betray the Great Eye. And Naraheda whispered, Laramil is the doom of Apocrypha with her dying breath. What more proof do you need? I can help you with that. The faithful in this region tell a riddle. Where claw meets prey, beneath open air, in stone, 
shows the way. I believe it refers to the location I marked on your map. Just remember, stay alert around Laramil. May the Great Eye lead you safely to the Shrine of the Golden Eye, Chosen. Hermaeus Mora answers to many names, more than the blades of grass in these fields. I belong to the Sodality of the Eye, and we revere the Great Eye. The Golden Eye is a different sect. We are not so many, however, that we are unaware of each other. As I conducted my own investigation of Laramil's treachery, I discovered that someone was hunting the Prince of Forbidden Knowledge's faithful. Naraheda is... was... a friend. I wish I had gotten here sooner. What an absurd accusation! I've done nothing but go out of my way to assist fate's chosen, and this is the thanks I receive? Believe what you will, I've told you how to find the shrine. Do as you see fit, Chosen. Another of the faithful murdered. What happened here? Both I and the Chosen arrived too late, Laramil. Curious to see you in this place, at this particular time, Dralis. Let's not forget who's actually one of the Great Eye's faithful, Laramil. Now... I have my own investigation to continue. Hmm. Come, Proxy. I deciphered the letter. Drollis's presence here. The one who knows never suggested they had any of their faithful dealing with this threat. Hmm. No matter. With Basian's help, I was able to decipher the letter Drollis gave you. Orders for the Dusk Sabers. Vampire mercenaries from the Telvanni Peninsula. They were hired to steal the Emerald Glyphic and take it to the Shrine of the Golden Eye. It also contained a riddle to direct them to the Shrine's location. Dralis, hmm? The coded riddle was slightly different. Where Claw meets Prey, the farthest corner in the largest hall shows the way. I suppose the Shrine could have two entrances, I shall mark your map and let you determine the proper path. I had hoped the letter would indicate who hired the mercenaries, but no. Anyway, the Shrine of the Golden Eye lies somewhere in Claw Strike Proxy. I shall meet you there. Once inside, we can use the three glyphics as Hermaeus Mora instructed. Does the term offend in some way? It is a perfectly appropriate word for one who acts in the place of another. Hermaeus Mora has chosen you to act as their agent in this matter, hence proxy. Is that where his investigation has led him? To a conclusion as inaccurate as it is absurd? What do they teach the followers of the Prince of Secrets these days? My interests lie in accumulating knowledge and saving two realms. Nothing more. And we're off!
blow off a little. You were supposed to use the other entrance! will share the secret they seek once they pry it out of Apocrypha. Did you evade or dispatch the ambush I set for you? No matter. I'll take your glyphing. Want to die? Proxy! Drawless is a traitor! You must stop him! No hard feelings, but I'm going to have to kill you. I have new patrons. Powerful patrons. Thank <laughs> you. 
Bring the Glyphics here. We need to talk. Drollis was waiting for me when I entered this chamber. He actually employed violence to take the Glyphics from me. I am glad you were able to overcome him, Proxy. He admitted as much when he took the Glyphics. He rambled on about his new patrons, but never revealed who they were or who else is involved in this plot against Apocrypha. Now prepare yourself, Proxy. I sense the one who knows approaching. Every possibility coalesces into this moment. Come, mortal. Speak with the one who knows. I foresaw that you were the one mortal in all of Nern to aid us. I also saw you die at the traitor's hands many, many times. I am pleased with this version of events. That the traitor Dralis has fallen, and the Glyphics are secure. Very pleased. I know a great many things, mortal. What may be, what will be, what will never come to pass. It is my nature. I saw that you would reveal the reason for Dralis' betrayal, but I only caught a glimpse of our true enemy. The vampires, <laughs> no. They are merely hired blades working for another ambitious mortal. I refer to the new patrons that Dralis chose over me, the Daedric princes he pledged himself to. He died before I could pull their identities from his mind. Because this shrine is one of the few places on Nern where I may manifest where I may communicate freely for a short while. As Lyra Mill explained, I require your assistance. Help save Apocrypha, and you will also preserve Nern. First, we must enter into an agreement. A contract that binds us for the duration of this threat. It also guarantees that I will do nothing to harm you, your interests, or the mortal realm. You are the chosen of fate. Now, bring forth the Glyphics. Bring forth the three Glyphics and activate their power, mortal. They will call into being the agreement that will bind us and ensure that this is neither a trick nor a coercion. You will help preserve Apocrypha and thereby safeguard Nern. I am the mystery at the end of existence. The first secret whispered at the dawn of creation. 
I am the guardian of the unseen, and the question unanswerable. I hold the knowledge forbidden, and untangle the threads of fate. I am the one who knows. I created and rule over Apocrypha, my endless repository of knowledge in the vastness of oblivion. Every secret known to mortal and immortal resides here, as well as many known only to me. It is a realm of fate, time, and wisdom. Many realms of oblivion have a relationship to the mortal world. Some believe that Nern is a reflection of the Daedric realms, or that the Daedric realms are an echo of Nern. Regardless, Apocrypha and Nern share a powerful connection. If my enemies succeed and damage or destroy Apocrypha, the resulting ripples of fate will unravel the mortal world. In short, Nern will cease to exist. You must help me to prevent that fate from coming to fruition. Exactly what Laramil told you. You shall render what aid is required to preserve the course of fate and keep Apocrypha safe, thereby protecting Nern. Moreover, the contract specifies that I will not force you to act against your own best interests. Laramil will explain the rest. Now, I must take my leave. We can talk back in the dune outskirts, Proxy. Now we are both connected by our agreements with the Prince of Fate. Next comes the harder task, saving Apocrypha, and thereby preserving Nern. These Dusk Sabers from the Telvanni Peninsula. Without any other information, I suggest we start there. I think whoever hired the vampires is connected to the threat that Hermaeus Mora has foreseen. I shall make inquiries and meet you in the peninsula when the time is right. Await my summons. For now, take this. A reward from the Prince of Fate. I shall learn what I can about the Dusk Sabers and their clients. When I have gathered enough information to progress our investigation, I shall contact you. The threat is great, but the danger is not imminent. Not yet. Research is one of my passions, Proxy. I was a scholar long before I entered into my arrangement with the one who knows. And I have learned more about uncovering truths and revealing secrets in the years since. Go about your usual business and await my summons. 
The threads of fate tell me that we must separate for a time, but we shall come together again when the moment is right. Until then, stay safe, Proxy.